So, uh, how familiar are you guys with uh, comic books? Okay, so, fuckle. Anyway, I I'm quite the biggest Superman fan there is, okay? It yes, I know, and people will say that Superman is boring because he's overpowered and has only one weakness, being green rocks. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, Kryptonite is not his only weakness, okay? If you fucking read the comics, there's stuff like red sunbeams, magic, ionizing radiation, and for those in the audience who are still in their fourth year of college, who have never passed any of their science classes, that's, that's bad radiation, okay? That's bad. You don't touch that. So, for example, of uh, the red sunbeams, it's, uh, uh, well, it's pretty much how it sounds. Beams of light produced by a different sun that is used that used to be on Krypton. Turns out, it turns off his powers, and as as dumb as it sounds, it works. Okay, I don't know how, but it just works. In fact, do you know where it came from? I shit you not, it was from a comic book where Superman fights Muhammad Ali. No joke. In the comic. An alien wants Ali and Superman to fight, like, to make it fair for some reason. And the alien shines uh, red sunbeams onto Superman, and then poof, no powers. Yeah, it, it, trust me, it gets weird. Yeah, so totally a fair fight, except Superman doesn't know any fucking boxing or martial arts. Like, why? I mean, he's fucking Superman. He can fly through buildings without a scratch. But now, he doesn't have any powers, so he basically is just a strong guy who knows how to move his arms from side to side. <laughs> anyway, now, it's a strong guy versus a professional boxer, Emily. Who's gonna win? <laughs> yeah, no fucking shit, and no, it's not because he's black. What's wrong with you people? Seriously, Jesus. Okay, well, uh... Now if we've established how to stop Superman, does uh, anyone know how to stop Batman? Bullets. Sorry, what? Bullets. B bull no, not fucking bullets. What are you, stupid? I mean, have you seen him lately? He wears fucking Kevlar now. I mean, they've incorporated that into the toys. Like the actual designs of a bulletproof suit. Into a toy. An action figure. Okay, I'm pretty sure they even have now, like, bat bulletproof vests for kids to play with. Like, hey kids, have you ever wanted to be like Batman? Well, now you can with this bulletproof bat suit. <laughs> anyway, back to my question. Does anybody know how to stop Batman and know it's not fucking bullets? Okay, no. Get that out of your mind already. Anyone? It's a lot simpler than you may think. No? Seriously? Then, well then, are you ready for it? Yeah! This is how you stop Batman. Therapy. <laughs> I mean, it only makes sense. I mean, Batman is a guy who dresses up in a costume at night who beats people up because he has anger issues. I mean, you think he want to get that looked over, right? I mean, who else fucking does that? I mean, the Penguin, Two-Face, Bane, Asriel, and especially his arch nemesis, if you actually pay attention to Batman, is a clown who beats up people for fun. I mean, that's pretty much two sides of the same coin right there. Oh boy, tough crowd. <sighs> well, I guess the show's over, boys. Thought I'd take a note out of that psycho's book, but I guess that's not exactly for me. But one day, one day they'll get that joke. One day, detective. Anyway, did you like the jokes? Oh. <laughs> I think we have a critic on our hands. Uh, children of the night, what music they make. You know, it's a good thing I found you when I did. Sure, old Falcon Daddy will be looking for his lost baby chickling, but tonight, I am more interested in baiting a flying rodent, little son of crime. <laughs> oh, right.
right on cue. You see that spotlight, Alberto? I bet the sight of that just sends shivers down your spine. <laughs> now, birdie boy, riddle me this, riddle me that. Who is afraid of the big bad bat?